I want to um, speak to you, speak to you, speak to you. And um, as we know that for so long, there's so many of us who has been in travail, meaning that it seems like the people of God, from whatever walk, we all are under some sense of ta attack, some sense of warfare, and based on what God has called you to, or based on uh, uh, your ability, or based on um, your gift, is determined what type of warfare, or what type, or the severity of the warfare that comes against you, because uh, the, the Bible said we grow from faith to faith and glory to glory, but also the Bible lets us know that the, the, the spirit lusts against the flesh and the flesh lusts against the So there's a constant fight between what's good and bad. And so the thing that you must realize, even when you elevate, even when God raises you to a, a, a new dimension or a greater level, level of understanding, or after you get a blessing, after you get that blessing, there's a demon or there's an imp or there's a spirit, uh, the devil will send an imp on assignment to fight you at that level. If you remember the children of Israel, when they were um, planning to go into the promised land, to, but Moses sent out 12 spies to go spy. When they went over there, they saw giants. And so that was their reward, their giant. Their reward was something big, massive, if you notice the, 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 the pomegranates and all that, they were massive. And what was God in them was massive. And the word that I'm, I'm speaking to you is what God has for you is massive. And see, many people, they are crying, crying out. And many are saying that many are, that the word has been that many are pregnant. Many are in travail. Many are uh, going through growing pains and birthing pains. Uh, but, but I come to tell you today, and God spoke this to me. And, and what God spoke to me, the travail is over. The travail is over. And so many, many, many of you, and many of you, many people are crying out of travail, but God is saying, no, that travail is over. This cry is, if you remember, when a baby comes out and when a baby comes forth, that baby will cry. And the purpose of that baby crying will indicate to the doctor, to the mother, the father, the grandfather, whatever, that I'm here. And so there's a new cry that's crying out from God's people. And this is a cry that I'm here. This is a cry for protection. This is a cry for love. This is also a cry to be uh, caressed by that mother because when that child is born then that that mother ha has to receive that m love from the mother and the daddy and so this is also part of the development and so with each cry it's a development of our growth just like when a baby in as a baby grows as a baby grows from a, a baby to an infant uh to a toddler their cries change and the older they get and the more they understand the more they understand what each cry mean and see the thing about it god knows what your cry mean see before your cry was because you in pain see but now this is a, this cry this is a cry of deliverance this is a cry of breakthroughs this is a cry of joy this is a a, a cry of excitement if if you notice that during the children of Israel, when they were running from the, the Egyptians and when they had went to the Red Sea and when Moses turned to God and, and God told Moses to stretch out his rod and how the Red Sea opened up. And once they got over on the other side, the Bible said Miriam, Miriam uh, took some tambourines, took a tambourine and began to play and celebrate and celebrate the victory of God bringing them, taking them out of, our, taking them out of Egypt and crossed the Red Sea and defeating their enemies. Hear me, there's a sound. And see, with a sound, with each sound, there's a different sound wave that comes with that sound. And also, with each sound wave, there's a meaning of that sound wave. And so, there was a dream that I had one time that I was hearing this sound. And as I was hearing this sound, I could hear the sound clearly. 
uh, clearly, but I could hear the sound. But closer I got to the sound, not only did the sound get louder, but also I could understand the conversation of the sound. And so with the sound that God has released, God has released a conversation wherein the frequency and see what God is doing also with God's word and his speaking word. God also is a vibration. And those that get in tune with the rhythm of the vibration of God's sound will understand what he's saying. See, God is saying you're delivered. God is saying you're brought out. God is saying it has been birthed. God is saying uh, the door is ajar. God is saying to move. God is saying what your new assignment is, but what God has to do uh, as the people of God, what we have to do, we must be still and keep a quiet spirit in this hour. Because in this hour, in this season, as God's speaking, you must hear the vibration of his rhythm. And the, and the moment that you hear the vibration of his rhythm, you'll understand the note of what he's saying. And that note is joy. That note is the thing that you prayed for. The note is uh, naturally, verbally, in English, what uh, thing that you've been asking God for, whether it's money, where is deliverance, where is um, touching your heart, where is touching your wife's heart, where is uh, blessing you, where is healing you, where is bringing you out, whatever it is, in that rhythm, there's a note. And the more you listen to God's word, and the more you listen to his rhythm, you understand what he's saying for you. And from that full counsel of God's mind, God is speaking to Adeba. God is speaking to Rima. In other words, God is speaking a specific word for you from the full counsel of his mind. Amen. God bless you. And heaven smile on you. And may all God's best be yours. This is my word for the day. God bless you.